So in this video we have a cup of water that is cooling. Its initial temperature is 87 degrees centigrade. After six minutes its temperature is 66 degrees centigrade. Now given that capital T is 25 plus AE to the minus KT, where T is the temperature, so capital T is the temperature, lowercase t is the time in minutes, and A and K are constants, find the values of A and K. So this is an equation that is modelling the temperature with respect to time. Okay, so it is just a model. Um, because essentially you need to think that this would give a nice smooth curve, um, whereas temperature is likely to fluctuate. Okay, in real life, um, depending on like drafts that are coming in and uh, you know if you've got the window open or something like that. So, um, working with that then and working with this information, we need to work out A and K. So first of all, its initial temperature is 87 degrees centigrade. So for question one, we can put T is equal to zero. So initially, the temperature, so capital T, is 87. So we can put that information into our formula and we will get 87 is equal to 25 plus AE to the minus K times T and T is 0, so AE to the 0. Now E to the 0 is just going to be 1, so that implies that A is going to be 87, take away 25, so 62. So therefore, we now have that capital T is 25 plus 62 e to the minus kt. Okay, so we've now got A. Now the next bit of information, after six minutes, its temperature is 66 degrees centigrade. So when lowercase t is 6, that implies that capital T is 66. So we'll plug those in now. 66 is 25 plus 62e to the minus k times 6, so minus 6k. OK. So we can rearrange this to get e to the minus 6k. So if we do 66, take away the 25, then divide through by 62, we'll get 41 over 62. So that means that minus 6k would be the natural log of 41 over 62. Okay, and so k, dividing both sides by minus 6, is minus 1 sixth natural log of 41 over 62. Now at this stage, um, it is useful to point out that actually, because we know that natural log of 41 over 62, or you can check it in the calculator, that itself is negative, and we've got obviously multiplying by minus one sixth. So what you can do is you can rewrite this by using your uh, power rule for logarithms by bringing the minus sign up to the power. So essentially there's a minus 1 multiplier. So I'm going to bring it up to the power of the 41 over 62. So we could write it as 1 sixth natural log of 41 over 62 to the minus 1. And of course 41 over 62 to the minus 1 is 62 over 41. So 62 over 41. Now if you want to leave it, like that, that's perfectly fine, and use that throughout. Um, but it is really useful to see that because sometimes an exam question will ask you to show that you can write k in this form. So we now have that capital T is 25 plus 62e to the minus k, so minus 1 sixth natural log of 62 over 41 times by t. Okay, and so this is our formula. So question number two, what is the temperature of the water after five minutes? So I'm looking for capital T when T is five. 
So that's just quite straightforward, right? We can just substitute the t is 5 into this. So 25 plus 62 times by e to the power of minus 1 sixth times the natural log of 62 over 41, and then times that by 5. And we get 68.92568021, so 68.9 degrees centigrade to three significant figures. Okay, so that's the temperature of the water um, after five minutes. Now, question three, what is the temperature of the water in the long term? So, as lowercase t, the time, tends to infinity, Okay, then uh, our e to the minus one sixth log of 62 over 41 times t, that will tend to zero. So let's write that as well. So the e to the minus one sixth natural log of 62 over 41 times t, that tends to zero. So capital T will tend towards 25 plus 62 times something that's tending towards zero. So that's just going to be 25 degrees centigrade. You could think of that as the uh, temperature of the room. So your cup of tea or cup of water, you brew your cup of tea, uh, you put it on the side and slowly the temperature will drop and it will tend towards room temperature. Okay, so that's relatively how you should see that. Okay. So, number four. What is the rate of change of the temperature of the water at precisely 10 minutes? So, the rate of change is when we look at dt by dt. Okay, so we need to look at this and we need to find the gradient function. So, 25 differentiates to zero. So, what we're going to have is that the coefficient of t will come down to the front and we will get uh, 62 times by minus 1 sixth times the natural log of 62 over 41 times by e to the minus 1 sixth natural log of 62 over 41 times by t. Okay, so that is my gradient function. And I want to evaluate that when t is 10. So 62 times by minus 1 sixth times natural log of 62 over 41. Then times by e to the power of minus 1 sixth times natural log of 62 over 41 times by 10. And we get minus 2.14503809, so minus 2.15, uh, and that will be degrees centigrade. Now, keep an eye on the units here, because that's temperature over time, so that's minus 2.15 degrees centigrade per minute. So the rate at which the temperature is changing with respect to time, it is dropping at 2.15 degrees centigrade per minute. 